6th of April, 1862, was a day fraught with momentous issues for the future of the American Republic. The evening of the 5th had witnessed the concentration of a great army whose leader had boastingly declared in the pride of their strength should, on the coming morn, overwhelm and destroy the army of the Union which lay encamped in conscious security and around the wilderness church of Shiloh. The Civil War was the Union more imperiled than on that eventful Saturday evening. The Battle of Shiloh was the first decisive and, preeminently, the most important of the war. Defeat then would have the greatest disaster that could have befallen the arms of the Union. Colonel Wills de Haas It all started when General Grant advanced his Union Army of West Tennessee up the Tennessee River. They had no thought of a Confederate attack whatsoever. General Johnson, knowing Buell would soon reinforce Grant, launched an offensive with its army of Mississippi on Pittsburgh Landing, planning a surprise attack on Grant's Union army. The Confederates seemed within easy reach of victory by mid-morning, capturing the Union's camp. However, stiff resistance from the Federal right entangled a fight around Shiloh Church. Johnson's army hammered the Union's throughout the day. Casualties upon this brutal killing ground were immense. Grant's left flank withstood Confederate assaults for seven crucial hours before being forced to yield ground in the late afternoon. Despite inflicting heavy casualties and seizing ground, the Confederates only drove Grant towards the river instead of away from it. The Federal survivors established a solid front before Pittsburgh landing and repulsed the last Confederate charge as dusk ended the first day of fighting. Confederate leader General Johnson fell at mid-afternoon on Shiloh's first day of slaughter from a stray bullet while directing the action on the Confederate right. General Beauregard then took the place of the Confederate leader. On the second day, April 7, 1862, General Grant counterattacked. By mid-afternoon, Federal groups pushed the Confederates back to Shiloh Church and General Buell's Federal Army of Ohio advanced to Pittsburgh Landing. The disorganized Confederate army was outnumbered by the Union army, leaving Grant with a huge advantage. Beauregard's army later withdrew back to their stronghold at Corneth. Invading Union forces still strive to capture Corneth. The war was not over.